The conversation we're having in this hour is very interesting. We're talking to a lady who's in the construction industry. She's a project manager. And of course, right now, I am curious. Rachel, I just want to know, what are some of the challenges that you've had to encounter throughout this 15 years of being in this male-dominated uh, industry, this space that is that has so many men doing it? Well, the first thing is fitting in. Mm -hmm. When you go, when you find it's all men, mm -hmm. and you're, of course you feel intimidated. Ah. But then you fit in. Mm -hmm. you, 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 th when they realize that you, you want to learn, mm -hmm that you know your field, mm -hmm. you kind of become like a team, like a colleague and it's a team. The, the men don't see you as a woman and you don't see them as men. You see each other as a team. Okay. But at the beginning, before you break that barrier, it takes time. Mm -hmm. It's not like when another gentleman joins, mm -hmm. they they kind of create a rapport immediately. Mm -hmm. For you, you have to, they kind of watch you from a distance mm -hmm. and then you have to your presence and then you have to prove that you know what you're doing yes you you want to learn also from them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then i think they they also feel that you're not a threat mm -hmm. you're there to work and you have a career just like them and then they embrace you and your team yes interesting uh, are there instances where you felt discouraged working with uh, men mostly being in a space that is dominated by them well there are those instances where uh, of course they will outrightly attack you as a woman mm -hmm. but since it's not because you've gone there because it's 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 a particular field for men or women it's mm -hmm. it's a field that you love it's a career you 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 you, you have a passion about mm -hmm. some of those things don't deter you really uh, yes because you know what are your goals what are my expectations what are wh why am i here mm. is it because somebody pushed me to be here or is it because i love to be in the construction okay and when you know that you you encourage yourself mm -hmm. you don't give up sometimes mm -hmm. things are tough you feel like you don't want to go back you want to run away you want to change the career mm -hmm. but if that is where your heart is yes you you face whatever challenge that comes when you say this is where your heart is uh let me just ask this this very uh, you know curious uh, question out of curiosity did you have like a plan b you were like if this one does not work this is what i'm going for did you ever have like a plan b when i got into the into college mm -hmm. There was, I was going to the built environment. I didn't know exactly where there's architecture mm -hmm. or civil or mm -hmm. interior design or surveying. So I chose building okay. and construction. Yes. And I think from the beginning, I just loved it. Mm. I embraced it. I knew this is what I want to do. Yes. And yes. my mind was made. This is where I am. Mm -hmm. So whether somebody believed in me or mm -hmm. they tried to discourage me, I knew this is where I belong. Okay. So whatever challenges that would come, you would stand to them. All right. Interesting. Throughout these 15 years of you being in this space, tell me about the key milestones or achievements that you, uh, particularly individually, you have had to achieve so far. Yeah, one thing is getting to talk to men and listen to you. Mm. And they don't see you as a woman. They see you as someone who is leading the team. Mm -hmm. I think that is... That is important. Mm. And then being able to drive a project and complete it within time. Okay. Within the timelines, within schedule and a good quality project. Because mm. I think in the field they know that whatever project I am on, we have to follow the specifications. Mm -hmm. I don't play around with it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a good thing to complete a project within time when you're working majority with men. And yes. They, they, w you form a team with them, mm -hmm. and you're able to complete these goals. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, it's, it's a milestone. It's, it's something good. It makes you feel good when you talk about it, also. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's somebody who's probably listening to you right now, Rachel. They already got, they already got their foot into the construction uh, space, but they're probably a week in, a month in, two months in, and they're like so discouraged. What kept you going throughout all these years that you, sh you would advise them to persist and also emulate? I think the driving factor is do you love do you love what you do because being in the field is not nice mm -hmm. it's not like wearing your suit and your shining shoes and mm. you have coffee mm -hmm. or you have someone serving you coffee at 10 mm -hmm. and there is lunch available or you can access food being in the field is mm. you don't have tea you don't have coffee there is no lunch yes it's that you're dealing with that so are you, do you love what you do? Because that is what we, makes me wake up in the morning and mm. still go there. Mm -hmm. And you stand all day from morning to evening. You don't have somewhere to sit. Okay. And you eat with those guys where they're eating. You do what the stuff they do. Mm -hmm. And they respect you. It's because 
I love what I do. I mm. think that is what really makes you stand out. Mm -hmm. And that also helps you to keep improving yourself, keep learning from others. Mm -hmm. It's not about me becoming a hero because I'm a project manager. We work together. Yes. I don't lead. The the, the lead consultant leads. Mm. So you let your, it's your, my role is to monitor, to mm. control. Mm -hmm. So for me, for them, they know they lead. Mm -hmm. I, mine is to control. Okay. It's to monitor them, ensure that everyone meets their, their goals. Mm -hmm. The milestones are met. Mm. Oh. The budget is under control. Okay. That's it's it's like I'm a police. So for them, a police who doesn't arrest. <laughs> like a nice way to put it. Yes. <laughs> That's very interesting. We're gonna come back in a bit.